Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, or even if you're returning, hello and welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'd also appreciate it if you left me a comment and gave me a thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a challenge. And this challenge is called Spring is in the Air, Spring Tablescape 2020 Collaboration. And it's being co-hosted by Breeze Project Book and creatively Miss Me with Stephanie. If you haven't seen their channel, where have you been? I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. Stop by and check them out and tell them Sharon of Creative Glam sent you. Okay, so the title is self-explanatory. We are to do a spring tablescape. Well, this year I'm going to do something a little more minimal. I usually have a full and abundant table for fall. I'm going to do my best to scale it back for spring. I decided I wanted that minimal look. So let me show you what I did. I started out with a very neutral and glam runner for the center of the table. I used some very colorful chargers and paired them with my glam winter chargers. I think it came out great. It gave me just that little pop of color that I'm looking for without being over the top. I pared down my drinking glasses and I decided that I just wanted to use the clear drinking glasses this time for this season. And here I'm placing the beautiful flowers that I got from Michaels. They remind you of a wedding bouquet, but I just love that draped look. And believe it or not, the vase that I'm using are apple cider jugs. And here I'm placing my pillar candles. I got these pillar candles from Michaels. I'll turn them on later and dim the lights so that you can see what they look like. My piece in the center is a gather sign and the box that it's sitting on top of matches a console that I have and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. Both of those pieces came from Home Goods or Home Sense. I'm not sure. One of the two, Home Goods or Home Sense. I challenged myself to keep it at a minimal, and I think I achieved that. I just love the way that it looks. What do you think? Did I achieve that spring minimal look? Let me know. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you.
Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my Spring Tablescape 2020 with a minimal twist. For all my returning subscribers, thank you. I appreciate your support. And for all my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to the Creative Glam team. I appreciate your support too. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. This is a great time to leave a comment because I'd love to hear from you. And I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. With that being said, have a blessed day and be safe out there. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.